Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Integrations. Today's video is for those of you who have SunSync or um, day inverters and don't have PV panels connected and you want to know the settings for your inverter so that you can avoid load shedding. Um, there are a lot of settings on the inverter which you don't need to be using and which can just call, cost you money if you are. So um, stay tuned for my video and if you've got any questions or comments please leave them in the uh, comments in below. Thank you very much. Okay, so the first setting we want to be checking is our um, battery shutdown settings. Um, the shutdown setting is the um, battery state of charge setting where the inverter will stop supplying power to the house. Um, depending on what batteries you have, they allow you to discharge to uh, different state of charges. 20% um, is um, where most of the warranties uh, specify they don't want uh, discharged lower than 20 percent um, some of them you can discharge to totally flat um, you need to check through your battery specifications and see what um, they recommend generally the lower you let your battery discharge the less number of cycles you're going to be able to get out of it so at 20 percent you'll probably get about 6,000 cycles if you're discharging to 10% regularly, then you're going to get maybe 4,000 or 3,000 cycles. So check your battery specifications and you can adjust it for that. Um, there is a low battery um, setting as well. That's when your low battery buzzer is going to start sounding on your inverter. And um, restart is going to be the level at which the battery has to recharge to before it will start power, sending power to the house again. Um, I would make that um, relatively close to the shutdown so that when you're reconnecting to the grid, um, if your battery has run flat, it'll just start recharging the battery and once it uh, reaches that level, it will switch on again. Okay, the second thing I want to uh, cover is your um, battery recharge rates. Um, generally, the, the, so on a 5 kilowatt battery, um, 50 amps is going to be a, um, about a 2.5 kilowatt um, charge rate. You need to check the specifications of your battery depending if you've got a, a 1C or a half C battery. Um, a 1C battery will let you charge up to 100 amps um, at 50, 50 volts, which is about 5 kilowatts. Um, 50, 50 amps is 2.5 kilowatts, so that's going to be the maximum charge rate for a 0.5C battery. Um, you may want to uh, drop that down a bit um, to recharge 2.5 uh, kilowatts in an hour, so if you've got a 5 kilowatt and you're discharging it to 20%, you're going to have one kilowatt of power left in the battery. So that'll take you up to, um, there'll be three and a half kilowatts or about 70% charge in an hour. So the lower you make this uh, number, the better. Um, it does extend the battery life of your uh, battery. And um, you just need to bear in mind um, when the load shedding um, when the load shedding level goes up, you may need to adjust this to a slightly higher level to make sure that your battery is fully charged for the next level. Um, other than that, these are um, you just need to check that you've got your grid charge and your grid signal set. Um, and that is about it for battery settings. Um, if you have a lithium battery, you want to make sure that you've got comms with the BMS on the battery. Um, and it will get this information from uh, directly from the battery using the the comms cable from the battery Okay, the third thing I want to talk about is the the grid reconnect time um, the the blue settings are obviously from the day the orange from the sun sink um, they default to 60 seconds Which doesn't really give the grid a lot of time to stabilize after load shedding. I would extend that um, 300 seconds is five minutes I would make it 600 seconds if you've got extra battery capacity and you can 
you're going to be able to be um, off the grid for another 10 minutes. I would I would set that for 600 seconds. Um, to change your grid settings, you may have to um, enter a code um, as it doesn't allow you to change the settings um, by default. The code is usually 7777 and um, you can then go and edit these. I wouldn't edit, edit any of these other um, settings unless you know what you're doing and um, just change the reconnection time up to 600 seconds. That would be my recommendation. Okay, finally, but uh, most importantly, um, you want to make sure that your use timer is not ticked. You don't want to use this, these times at all these system mode times. So you untick that and that will recharge the battery to 100% when the grid comes back on. Um, the day uh, calls it time of use. Um, you just want to make sure that that box is clear um, so that your system can run as basically a, a big UPS. Um, when the grid comes back on, it'll start recharging the batteries again up to 100%. Um, I hope that uh, clears up how to set your inverter up as uh, with if you have no PV panels installed. If you've got any comments or suggestions, please post them uh, down below in comments. And I do appreciate subscriptions if you have found this uh, content useful. Then um, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. See you next time.